girl friends, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today, and happy new year! I decided to wear my New Year's Eve dress for you because I went absolutely nowhere for New Year's Eve. Yeah, I decided to be safe and just live it up on the couch. Still in a pandemic. <laughs> but anyways, we are here with my very first video of 2022 to now tell you our new challenge if you've been around you know that every year we do a new hair challenge to make our curls thrive and just be the best that they can be this actually started in 2017 this will be our sixth challenge that's crazy leave me a comment let me know if you've been here since the first challenge the no heat challenge that is where i challenged you not to straighten your hair for a full year and at that point, I had no idea that this was gonna be like a reoccurring thing. I really just wanted you guys to stop straightening your hair. That was the only goal. But it's just blossomed into this little thing that we do, and your curls have flourished ever since. And I love seeing your before and after results. So, if you are brand new to this, I highly suggest you go back and get caught up before joining this challenge, or you could do them all at the same time. Let's review. 2017, we started with the no heat challenge. That means you cannot straighten your hair for an entire year. You can diffuse, you can do some light blow drying, but we are not taking a flat iron to our curls for one whole year. The second challenge was the deep conditioning challenge. That's where I've challenged you to deep condition your curls once a week, not once a month, not whenever you feel like it, once a week consistently. And I promise you, you will see your moisturized curls come to life. The third challenge was the big chop challenge. And that's for those of you that have those straggly ends, like the straight pieces and the curly ones on top. Yeah, we're not bringing those into 2022. Those have to be gone. Just do it. You are holding up your process. So if you haven't done that yet, please cut off those straight stragglers because they are not going to curl back. I'm sorry, they're just, they're just not. Then we have the hair growth challenge. Now that you've just chopped off your hair and that's where we challenge each other to try to grow our hair, trying hair growth vitamins, doing scalp massages, adding oils, trying anything under the sun that says promotes hair growth. Use it consistently and see how long your curls can grow. And then last year we did the switch it up challenge. That's where I challenged you to switch it up and try something new in your routine. If you always use 10 styling products to do your hair, maybe you got it down to two. If you never use gels, maybe you tried a gel. If you never use oils or you don't like to use creams, maybe you tried that. Maybe you only use this one line and nothing else. Maybe you tried a new line. You switched it up. Whatever you did, I am excited to share your results with you at the end of this video. I wanted to share with you some of the best switch ups that had the best results throughout the year. So keep watching because you might just see yourself. But without further ado, let me tell you this year's challenge. Here's a little hint. <clears throat> the hair style challenge. Let's be honest, you probably like me are very prone to just putting your hair up in a bun. We go down on our wash days, wash and go down, and then it's back up in a bun. And that's pretty much the only hairstyles I really do, down or bun. But this year we are going to challenge ourselves to actually do more with our hair and try some different hairstyles. Now I can admit this might not be the most motivating thing to do if we continue to be stuck in this pandemic, but at least if you try a hairstyle and it doesn't work out, nobody saw you because you're stuck at home. <laughs> so the challenge is every week you just try something new, whether it be some up and some down, whether it be space buns, maybe it's braids, maybe it's doing a twist out, maybe it's bantu knots, maybe it's extensions, maybe it's a roller rod set or heatless waves or whatever it may be. We're just gonna try new things and see how it looks. I even wanna incorporate more wigs. Like wigs are so fun and I love fooling you guys. They like you 
don't know I'm not gonna straighten my hair, but I love a good straight wig. And maybe I'll get like some colored wigs or some more curly wigs. I just want to be a completely different person all year long. Like you guys just aren't gonna recognize me because my hair is gonna be different every week. We'll probably go back to using some more colors. A lot of different brands have their own temporary hair colors now. I just want to have different hair all the time. I say that now, but we'll see. That's why it's a challenge. So if you are down to commit to the hairstyle challenge where we don't just throw our hair up in a bun or just wear it down every single day, this is the part of the video where we take the curly oath. Now everyone raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, insert name, solemnly swear to do something different with my hair. I will no longer just wear it down or in a bun because there is so much more that can be done. I will not be afraid to try something new, twists, braids, or even an updo. My curls are beautiful and so versatile. I accept this challenge to try a new hairstyle. Boom! Just like that, you have officially accepted my hairstyle challenge. Now, just to be on the safe side, not that I don't believe that you actually repeated after me, but I do need you to leave me a comment so I can get that in writing. Leave me a comment that says, I, your name, accept the hairstyle challenge. And then this whole year, we will be rocking new do's. I am gonna need your help on this one because like I admitted, I don't do a lot of hairstyles. That's just not really my thing. That's why it's a challenge, we're trying new things. So if you try or find a really cute hairstyle, please send it to me. Please DM me any cute curly hairstyles that you think I should be able to attempt. And if I do, it successfully, I will then share it with you on YouTube. We will learn new hairstyles together. I'm excited for this one. It's definitely the most challenging one for me. Like I don't straighten my hair. I already deep condition. I already did my big chop. Hair growth was a little, a little bit more commitment. Um, switching it up was fun. Let me tell you my biggest switch up. My biggest switch up of the switch it up challenge was using oils. I love this Curlsmith oil. Adding an oil to the end of my routine has been great. I've been afraid of them. I felt like they were greasy. I still don't like ones that smell like nature, but there are a good handful of oils that smell like fruity or citrusy, and I've been loving adding that to my routine. I also did a lot of soft hold gel this year. That was a big one. And I did like my big volume results. So soft hold gel was a big one, and I have been adding in leave-in conditioners. Who is she? Multiple products. So a little bit of leave-in makes my hair not so dry. Soft hold gels and oils. Those are my biggest takeaways of the 2021 Switch It Up Challenge. But now let me read some of your biggest switch ups that you guys tried last year. for switching it up and trying something new. You guys have either like shortened your routine or found new favorite hair products or maybe your hair looks the best it ever has. I'm so proud of you for just taking a chance at something new. And we're gonna continue that taking a chance thing this year with our hairstyles. This definitely had to be towards the end of my challenges because hairstyles don't look good if your hair isn't healthy. So if you haven't done that big chop, if you don't deep condition, if you're still straightening your curls, your hairstyle's gonna look a little lackluster. 
So we need your hair to be healthy before we could play with the hairstyles, okay? So if you're watching this, don't be afraid to go back and join the rest of my challenges. It's never too late. So if you're gonna join some of my old ones, let me know all the challenges that you continue to do or that you're gonna start to do in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and are excited for our new challenge, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.